number two children died from the flu here in Florida halfway through the month of January. That number is now up to four. Pediatricians say we're dealing with a particularly nasty flu virus this year, and in the past 24 hours, it has sent an unusual number of kids to our local emergency rooms. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser is looking into what's behind this latest flu outbreak and what doctors say parents need to be doing now to protect their kids. Yeah, I think we could be looking at something much larger. This year's flu outbreak has pediatricians like Dr. Greg Savell even more worried than usual. The flu is already being blamed for the deaths of four children in Florida this season. And in Pinellas County, there have been an unusual number of children taken to the emergency room. Several kids were admitted to all children's hospital in the ICU yesterday with flu. So it has been a particularly strong strain and much earlier in the season. With record warm weather, the flu virus should have a tougher time spreading. But that's same warm weather is attracting tourists from Brazil, Farmington, Maine, St. Paul, Minnesota, Canada, Toronto, bringing strains of flu from all over the world here. Every year is a little worse than the year before. I think they've seen a, an increase of people getting the flu. People from all over the world who have a dollar and a week off have come here to paradise, bringing their germs from all over the world, increasing our flu rates dramatically. Dr. Savell says it's not too late to get those kids immunized. Unfortunately, every pediatric flu-related death and the vast majority of emergency room visits so far this year related to the flu have been children who weren't vaccinated. Dr. Savell hopes parents who've been on the fence about getting their kids immunized will take the deadly outbreak seriously. In homes with babies too young to be vaccinated, it's important, he says, that parents and young siblings get their shots to protect those who can't be immunized. A responsibility all of us, he says, share. We have to protect them. It's all that idea of herd immunity. H-E-R-D, you immunize 95% of the population, that disease is eradicated. And because there have been outbreaks so early in the season, doctors in the U.S. have already revised the number of flu-related deaths they expect to see this season from about 125,000 to 175,000. According to a recent study from a professor at Mount Sinai School of Medicine, this all comes down to the weather. Cold temperatures and low humidity helps flu particles stay in the air. The viruses float in the air in little respiratory droplets. When the air is humid, those droplets pick up water, grow larger, and fall to the ground. Now, that doesn't mean staying indoors at home will keep you safe. The best way to stay healthy, we say this all the time, wash your hands, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, and get a flu shot.